just got to move this uh, 1983 Jag out of the way so I can get the Lancer off the, off the back lawn. And that's the conversation of the day here at News Talk ZB. News Talk ZB. This thing runs all right. If you watched another video of this, uh, this is on another video too. This was sitting parked for seven to eight years. We um, dug it out of the shed, cranked it over, threw some fuel in it. Still runs a bit rough, um, just idling. And if you floor it, it gets a bit of ping. I have changed the gas because it's got two fuel tanks on it. You'll actually notice here's the fuel tank switch to go from the left to the right tank. I was actually having problems. What it was doing was it was, the valves were sticky, so I was pulling fuel from the left tank, running them. So now I just got to move this uh, 1983 Jag out of the way so I can get the Lancer off the, off the back lawn. And that's the conversation oh. of the day here at News Talk ZB. News Talk ZB. A thirsty old fucking pig. Alright, so I completely fucked up, deleted all my footage. <laughs> Basically, I lost uh, me, I videoed emptying the engine oil out, replacing it with diesel, diesel fuel, um, starting the engine, running it for a minute with no oil in the crankcase, only diesel fuel. Done that a couple of times, drained it out, flushed it with oil, then I done the service, put the 10 weight in it. New oil filter, took it for a couple of runs, and then pretty much just deleted all that footage, so fucking well done. Um, but what I still do have is a before and after, so you heard the tick of it um, starting up cold before the oil change with quite a bad lifter, and the cold start of it after. Um, and the lifter, it still makes a little bit of noise, but it's pretty much non-existent. I mean, it's pretty good. Okay, it's coming back now. Actually, it's not a complete fix, but it's definitely quietened it right down. When it does start making a bit of a tap, it disappears just as fast, whereas before it was just almost a constant tap, and 90% of the time it was tapping, and it was quite loud, so it's had a lot of shit. For 500 bucks, and basically just the price of some diesel fuel, and a quick flush, like, complete one, it's definitely helped it quite a lot. Um, the next thing I'll probably try is probably get some MB, MLB8, I think they call it, which is just like a lifter additive throw that in there and see if that completely shuts it up but I think for what I've done and it only cost me an oil change and a couple of bucks worth of diesel fuel definitely a win so Yeah, if you guys found this video at all helpful, give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more, and roger.